What a throwback to the magnificent journey of cricket in Pakistan, sponsored by Tuck and Dolans. The passion for sport forever burns bright in all of us. Thank you for making an amazing highlight of our history. Guys, check this out now. Cricket. What is it about this game that makes us so emotional? And how each victory becomes an occasion for nationwide celebrations? How to explain this relationship between Pakistan and cricket? And show how the world of cricket was presented with this fine prize. Let's begin from the black and white era. In its second ever international match, the Pakistan team defeated rivals India in Lucknow. But the biggest upset in the world of cricket happened when Pakistan defeated host England at the Oval. They're going for a run, it's been an early out. He's out! He's run out and Pakistan have won. That was the era of Shirwani-clad Pakistani gentlemen. Fazal Mahmood's outstanding bowling stunned England at the Oval. And he became Pakistan cricket's first national hero. With time, there were others who carried forward the baton. The little master Hanif Mohammed's impressive innings of 337 runs against the West Indies to this day remains a remarkable feat in world cricket the original war. Along with a few ups and downs, Pakistan cricket created a unique identity for itself in the world which no other team possessed. The 1960s are considered to be Pakistan's golden era. Vespa scooters, bell-bottom pants and crowds of foreign tourists were a common sight Alongside the tourists, cricket clubs from around the world often came to play cricket against the domestic teams, further increasing the popularity of cricket in the country. The result of this became apparent in 1965, when Pakistan defeated New Zealand in a three-test match series and won it 2-0. It was here that some exceptional players came to the forefront of the cricketing world. The 1970s was one of the best decades for Pakistani cricket when players from domestic cricket came into prominence. A great stroke from Marjan. The game was no longer limited to cricket club boundaries and found its way onto every street and lane of the country. From those very streets came a street fighter, Javed Miyada, whose fearless and prolific batting in his debut match cemented his position in the world of cricket. Fast bowling milestones set by Fazal Mahmood were an inspiration for many young cricketers. One of those was Imran Khan. Who on becoming the captain assumed the role of a leader the likes of which had never been seen before in the world of cricket. In the 1980s, cricket shifted from radio to television. Wherever there was a television in a neighborhood, cricket enthusiasts would throng there. Matching the enthusiasm of the fans, Pakistani players were seen performing exceptionally well. That last ball six will live forever in the hearts of every Pakistani. After this, Pakistani cricket did not look back. That's a shout and a 
Abdul Kader into Ambrose once again. In the 1990s, the rise of pop music along with cricket reached new heights. Each player had the potential to win every game. And Imran Khan's leadership made them believe that they could surmount any challenge on the world stage, which we did. That's up, up in the air, he's getting under it. This could be big for it is. Pakistan win the World Cup. With new heroes, Pakistan had entered a new era. Now you got it. Oh, that's brilliant, Patrick. Without the highest scorer in one day cricket. Unbelievable. That's another six for him. Oh, he's knocked him over. What a river. What a good piece of bowling. Alongside the good times came the bad. Despite the difficult situation in the country, along with empty stadiums, our spirits were not diminished. Straight to mid-wicket, yes, gone. Freedy, he's got all of that. Freedy fittingly hits the winning runs, and it's Pakistan win this 2020 World Cup. Then a new captain came, whose character embodied a sense of calmness and years of experience. With their successes and defeats, the Pakistan cricket team laid a new foundation. The spirit that was infused in the team was taken forward by new players. A new style of cricket was brought to the forefront. Fierce batting skills were on display. And with impressive bowling too, they stunned the other teams, reminding everyone of the 1992 World Cup victory. New stars were born. The journey from streets to stadiums took to new heights. Stadiums from Gawadar to Kashmir were packed and the new talent was nurtured in the Pakistan Super League. Alongside superstars, several newcomers were introduced to Pakistan cricket. Pakistani cricket was on full display for the rest of the world to embrace our style of cricket. HPL PSL was welcomed not only in Pakistan but in every cricket playing nation. In 2016, the journey that began far away from the homeland became the grounds for a revival of international cricket in Pakistan. In 2020, stadiums were filled with celebrations of HPL PSL, truly bringing cricket home with HPL PSL Season 7.